Okay, we are going to be doing the 4B notes today. Um, I'm going to split this into two parts. There's about 22 questions in this section, so I'm going to do 11 on the first half, 11 on the second. Uh, we'll split the word problems in half. All right, so now the first, we always start off with a couple of vocabulary. But when we replace variables in an expression with numbers and calculate the result, we are evaluating the expression. Okay. And that's a pretty easy one. We've done this many, many times. Um, when we see this next one here, when we see the solution set x is greater as such that x is greater than 2, it's written using, it's called set notation. And so they will usually give this to us where we just have to fill in the variable, I mean the number there. Um, we're not going to make too big a fuss, but again, if you're on a calculus and, and on, yes, this is a big deal. Uh, whenever both sides of an equality are multiplied or divided by a negative number, the direction of the inequality must be reversed. So if I have something like negative 3x is less than um, 9, and I divide each side by negative 3, the new inequality is now x, because negative 3 over negative 3 is positive 1. It's not less than anymore. It is now greater than negative 3. And we'll do more examples when we get to that section. That'll be in the second part of this lecture set here. All right, so i got to solve for the letter y. So now what's weird about this is we're going to solve letters in terms of other letters. Normally we've always solved for just the letter and then we get a number. But like if I want to solve for y, how do I get rid of that 4? Well, I divide each side by 4. So then I get a strange answer, y equals 5 fourths x. So that is my answer there. <clears throat> Let's say I had x plus 4 equals uh, p. And I want to solve for the letter x. I have to subtract the 4 over. So x is equal to p minus 4. So p minus 4 is my answer. So you're just going to have to get over the weirdness of the answers on this. Now this next one, sometimes they get harder. We have to solve for x. We have jx plus ly equals double, a w. Now, these, this question and the 3x plus 5 equals 17 are the exact same steps. I know you're doubtful on this because they look so different, but they are. So if you really understand your algebra steps, this is it's not too difficult. If I want to solve for x here, I want to solve for x here in both those equations, the first step I do is here is I subtract 5. And nobody really has an issue with that. It's the exact same step here. We're adding ly, so I have to subtract ly from each side. So now I have jx equals w minus ly. How do I solve for x? I divide by what's attached to it. Divide each by 3. I get x equals 4, and that's my answer. Now, this one is not as nice, but to solve for x, I have to divide by what's attached to it. Divide each side by j. So x equals w minus ly over j. Same exact algebraic steps. Weird answer, normal answer. Okay. This next question here, we're doing calories density, and they're just giving us a little formula here. The calorie density is in the calories over the weight in ounces. So if I'm trying to find out the calorie density, I have four ounces of a particular beverage that contains 50 calories. So remember, density is equal to C over W. So C is the number of calories, so this is 50 over, um, now they wrote the word 4, not the number 4, but it's over 4. 55 over 4 reduces to 25 halves. Um, if it says a mixed number, I would have to change that to a mixed number. If not, 25 halves is fine. Now here's the weird part. We've got to solve the formula for the letter W. So if I'm looking at d equals c over w, I don't like the fraction. 
So now if you remember, we in 4a, we were showing how to multiply, get rid of uh, the fractions. What's the opposite of dividing by w? Well, I'm going to multiply each side by w. So I get wd equals, of the w's cancel, equals the c. So if I want to solve for the letter w here, I have to divide by d. So w equals c over d. So c over d is what I would type in this answer. Okay. So you're going to get normal answers when you're evaluating, when you put in the numbers. And then when you have to solve for a letter, you're going to have weird letter answers. You'll have a couple questions on this, and I do expect lots of questions on this. Now we're going to review some unit two here, some percentage questions. <coughs> if I translate this to an equation, what percent is my variable? So I'll just let it be n of is multiplication. 48 is just 48 is is equals 12 is just 12. How do I solve for the letter? Well, I've got to get the letter by itself, so it's n times 48, so I have to divide each side by 48. And I get n equals 0.25. But we have to remember, they're asking for the percent. So how do I change a decimal to a percent? Well, two ways. The easiest way, I think, is just multiplying by 100, and you get 25%. Many of you will look at this and say, you'll see the 0.25 and say, oh, I'm just going to move the decimal twice to the right. Same answer. Both are correct. All righty. So now this question here, to finance or education, Brittany takes a loan out for $2,500. After a year, she decides to pay off the interest, which is 6% of 2500 How much will she pay? Now, if you remember in the question before, we had to do our last step. We had to change the decimal to the percent. This time, we have to change away from the percent as the first step. So I have 6%. Now, if I do the decimal movement, it starts here. I go 1, 2. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. Or you could have just typed in your calculator 6 divided by 100. Both of them will give you 0 0.06. So I need to find 6% of 2,500. So 0 0.06 of is multiplication 2,500. I just let my calculator work that out. And it's $150. Now, that's all I need to do. How much will she pay in interest? It's $150. Now, if you remember in the other section, they said how much does she have to pass uh, pay back? So you did the 2,500 plus 150. You don't have to worry about this. They're just asking for how much interest, so the answer is 150. All right, tips. You have to remember this basic setup here. We did that several times in the other section, and so now it's coming back. Um, so now what they'll do is, we have three things here. with the cost of the meal, the percent tip, and the tip. One of these three things will be missing. So what you need to do is you need to fill in what you know. So now this is saying there's a $2.21 tip. So I'm going to put the $2.21 under the tip. The equals goes there. The meal costs $17. So the cost of the meal is $17. And then it says what percent? So missing percent. So what 17 times P equals 221. So in this case, to solve for the letter, I have to divide each side by 17. Now 2.21 divided by 17, oh, I have this written down here, equals 0.13. Now again, this is a percent, so I have to change this to percent, so I got to times it by 100, and I get 13%. Okay. Now, you could easily see a question, and I'm going to change my color to green here. Let's say they gave the, you wanted to leave a 15% tip on a meal of $32. So the meal is 
you would times 15% as a decimal, 0.15 equals. Now, I don't know what the tip is, so the tip is what's missing. So here, since the T is by itself, I would just have to multiply those two, and that would give me the tip. Like I said, they're going to change what's missing. In the question I just made up in green, the tip was missing. In this one, the percent could be missing. And then sometimes the cost of the meal is missing. You just have to put in what you're given and find what's missing. This little formula right here will cover everything. Cost of meal times percent tip equals the tip. All right. Now this question is truly meant to trick you. We're in lawyer speak land, and this is very tricky. You've got to be careful on this. Abigail paid $85 for her snowboard. Now, she paid less than Dan by $15. So Dan paid more. So if Dan paid more by $15, I have to do 85 plus 15 equals $100. Everybody, when they quickly look at it, they see less than, so they think subtracting and do 85 minus 15. But that's wrong, and they're just trying to trick you with the vocabulary here, how they're wording the question. Abigail paid less. It says Abigail paid less than what Dan paid by $15. Or Dan paid more. Okay. And the last question in this first part here, we have a runner. He's got a 12.5 mile race. Now I like to draw a little diagram here. Here's the start. There's the finish. We have our little runner here. He stopped at a water station that is twice as far from the starting line as from the finish line. So now, from here to here, we don't know that distance, but we're, so we're just going to let it be x. Now it's saying he stopped at a water that is twice as far from the starting line. So if I go from here to here, that's twice as far as this part. So twice that is just 2x. And now I know the whole race from here to here is 12.5 miles. So if I look at the picture, 2x plus x must equal 12.5. So I add the x's together and I get 12.5. I have to divide by 3. And then I get an answer of, on my calculator, 4.166666. It goes out forever. Now it tells me to round my answer to the nearest tenth. The 1 is in the tenth spot. So the number to the right of that is a 6. So if I round that, that's 4.2 miles. All right. And that's the first half of this note. So I'm going to stop this and I will start up again in a bit.